Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's my pan for colors and my plastic shovel. It's just resting in a tray. I'm going to use Color Art Colors, Prism Pores, Primary Elements, probably some Vivid Intense. I think it would be best if I took the top right off the Chantilly Lace, give myself a base layer. That way whatever shows through will be shimmery and beautiful. I'll just put that aside in case I need it again in a minute. I'm going to use groupings of colors starting with my wild orchid which is a prism pour. Indigo violet another prism pour. Sends that chip. Little midnight shadow. Some blue velvet, both of which are prism pores. My fan is having a cavitating problem in the background. Sorry about the noise. I've got some Egyptian blue. Which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And that's prism pour also. Now I'm going to start on my pinks, I think. Although I was going purple. I've got some Chantilly lace. No, it's frosted berry with a little bit of the red violet in it. I'll save whatever's left in there in case I want to put it on top. I want to move along to this is my jasmine, which is a primary element. Painting before painting, as Tara would say. Shiny taffeta. Another prison pour. Some orange crush. Plum Blossom, which is a primary element. With a big Klingon. I'm trying not to overlap things too badly. I may run out of space. It looks like I will. Here's some Saffron Prism Pour. Just take a picture of my paint dish, I'll be all set. This is some sour lemon with some orange crush added to it. I saved the green for last, although it's not really last. This is fandango. My dish is looking a little bit skewed on one side. did get out some vivid intense fluorescent pink. And I have a desire to find something I didn't grab early enough. 
the alizarin rose, which is a vivid intense. I have a blue that I made up of ultramarine blue vivid intense drops added to some frosted. And I almost forgot to use it. Oh, there was one there were like eight drops of the uh, ultramarine vivid intense and one drop of the red violet. This is Pebio This is Pebio Iridescent Blue Green. Now my paint fan is going over here. And I'm just going to scoop and see what I can come up with. Scrape off the bottom. Let the paint fall down a little. It's not a bad start. Blow my paint right over to the edge. Come back in and grab some blue. I want some dots. And as long as the paint's heavy, you can certainly drag things around. Kind of reminds me of a fish. I'll grab some oranges. I got sea slugs. I got drops. It was messy. Maybe they're meant to be. We'll imagine that they are. I'm going to have paint left for tomorrow, I can tell. Scrape off the bottom of my shovel. Grab hope. Oh, I drip, but it wasn't on the canvas. That's cool. I may put a skewer in and make some spirals.
Sorry I'm quiet, I'm focused. Like, totally focused. I might want to stop early. <laughs> Switch my paint pan around. Might be, whoa. Might be time to dribble. And dribble I did. I'm going to grab a skewer as long as I've got one handy. Add a little something something to the end of that. This one. Got to be careful when you lift up that you don't drag a little tail with you. Now I've got a whole pan full of colors I can choose from. And all that's left at this point is to dot or fill in any places that I feel ne are necessary. I like the little fan-shaped things. Just going to use whatever's in my shovel. Take advantage of any place that I see that already has a mistake or a droplet. I think that needs to be curlied. It's different. It's not like much of anything else I've seen before. Or that I can recall doing. I'm going to have to pick up some more color. I hope I don't drip on anything. When we run out of time, I'll tell you that um, I have over 30 lists. Playlist. <laughs> Sorry, I got lost in the vibe. I've got three minutes left to tell you whatever I can manage to remember right now. And 
hope something comes with this. You know what? I want to put some dots right into the solid color here. I seldom do that, but I like doing it when I do. There, that's like the largest dot I've ever added anywhere. <laughs> that's a funky color. I've seldom used the colors to color the colors on the canvas already, but that doesn't mean that it's not a good idea because I kind of like the idea of it a lot. Gotta evolve, right? Kind of want some a big blue dot up here somewhere. Or whatever color I'm actually going to get, it's going to be fine. I like that. I'm beginning to like it a lot. I'm going to lose you guys in a second. So I should try and tell you, shop my Amazon link. It's on the link tree. The link tree is below. Show more near the 20% off color art coupon code. Could be more. You might you might be well worth your while to check. It, it goes up sometimes. I also have pixel paint designs which will get you Australian Floatrol and Pebio iridescent paint. Pebio paint and Boom Gel. I'm not so sure about this one. It needs a little waggle to make it cohesive for me. I sometimes have a paintballed sharp end of my stick, which makes some really sweet tiny little dots. So what can I tell you guys? The PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner will allow you to make a donation if you'd like to. I'd appreciate it. Or if, you'd, if you're more interested in more videos, you could um, join the members only library or the members only, you find the join button below the video and on my channel. It's not easy, but it's easy, but it's there. I know a friend of mine has been having some real trouble finding it. So I'm thinking I'm pretty well done with the echo sphere. With the exception of rounding out that one squirrely shaped dot and adding another large one. Then I have to cover up my colors. I think I've got a few more dots left in me though. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I love you guys. I hope you come again. Sorry I didn't get to shimmer anything at you.